self-proclaimed king of dancehall because me not think this man is not king of a dancehall but veteran iconic legendary dancehall artist Beanie Man has confronted selectors about the lack of support for dancehall something that people have been complaining about for a very long time you know known for his outspoken stance on tropical matters the dancehall doctor recently recently took Popular selectors Boom Boom and Ari Hype to task regarding their lack of support for unblemished dancehall songs while accusing them of being the proponents of trap dancehall. Yes, that bullshit. Taking the microphone at a recently held event, Beanie Man could be heard venting his displeasure with the duo in the almost one minute long video now making rounds on social media. He said, don't blame we, blame yourself. I what happened to Uno man, where when man bring dance or some come give Uno, Uno no play it. I want to your Ari hype, Uno play a trap dance hall. Uno play the man them when now come out on a party, you know. And when Uno there, Uno now play we. The man them when they there, Uno play them one hour, two hour, three hour. And then fuck up the music. Me just why you know still. We don't now play the man them. We are fight for dance hall. The usually animated boom boom. And the more subdued Harry Hype. Appeared to be very respectful. As the veteran spoke. Before returning to the festivities. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have noticed this. But ever since the billboard stated that they were taking back their chart and they were going to rename the reggae chart to Afrobeat chart. Persons have been coming out of the woodwork like ants and are basically saying, look, we want back our dance hall. And it's too late. The chart is already gone. You know what I mean? This trap dance hall thing, this scamming music, this trap line music has destroyed dance hall's face on the international scene. And the reggae artists, the hardcore dancehall artists, the veterans, they are livid. You know what I mean? And Beanie Man is the latest one to be speaking about it. Of course, Ian Bontikela stated in interviews months, years, months ago, years ago when it just started, that, hey, this trap dancehall thing is going to be the death of our industry. And sadly, <laughs> it turns out that they were onto something. As you can see right here today, legendary athletic olympian you know what i mean elaine thompson stated that she doesn't listen to dance all you know what i mean she said she is too too grown up to listen to the music and of course she went viral for these comments you know what i mean with several hypocrites you know saying oh she's selling out and whatnot and of course she did not sell out she's actually right no if you're a mature person, you know, what would make you listen to dancehall in your right mind when the lyrics are as poor as ever and the content is as poor as ever? What could you possibly learn? What is there to think about? Especially if you're someone that is not into scamming or chop line and all that bullshit and so cocky music, why would you listen to dancehall? Ask yourself that question. You know, so Elaine Thompson was actually onto something. You know, it's like when people listen to people like Soldier Boy in his former years. When you're when you're a child, you find it entertaining. But as soon as you grow up and you realize that, hold on, this is kind of not fruitful. This mu type of music doesn't have any food in it. Then you grow out of such artists. That is why you have so many one it wonders. You know, me people like Predator. You know, people like Potential Kid, you know, people who don't grow with their fan base, the fan base normally grows past them, you know, but you will have people like Jay-Z, people like Bounty Killer, who have released good content over the years, and it's like they never age in the music world because there is always something to look forward to. People like Vibes Cartel, who pay attention to honing their craft. So you will realize that they tend to, to live longer in the music industry, so to speak. You know what I mean? Than someone 
who just sings about gimmicks or frivolous things. And it's the same thing with this chop line type of music. Like, you may like a one song. However, the more mature you get, the more enlightened you get, you will realize that this is really bullshit and it's just being regurgitated by several artists. And this will add nothing to my day or elevate me in no shape or form. And so I would advise people like Boom Boom and Ari Hype, you guys are the sky juice of our generation. You guys are the stone love of our generation. You know what I mean? And with great power, you know what I mean, comes great respect and great expectation. And so it, the onus is upon you to save dance or music. You cannot heed to the bullshit. You cannot allow your segment to be bombarded with crappy music. It is up to you. And so I would advise you to take the advice that Beanie Man is giving you. Because you guys are legend in the making. But what do you want your legacy to be? Do you want it to be said when you're in your 80s, you know, your 90s, that you and Ari Ipe were the ones who were the forefront, you know what I mean, of the DJs on the streets? Because, of course, the radio DJs are just as guilty. But on the streets, you guys are the faces of the streets. So do you want it to be said that you were the ones who spearheaded the death of authentic dance or music. Now, granted, I don't know if we can, we will ever get back the Billboard chart. You know what I mean? I don't know if that decision will ever be reversed. But we can't always cry over spilled milk. So let's salvage what we can salvage. We can start now by playing good music, ignoring a lot of the chop line, chop dance all type of crap. And once you do that, when these young artists realize that they're not getting played for the bullshit, I bet you anything that you will see them, you know, focusing on more positive music, you know, more original music, more authentic music, more original dancehall rhythms. Because I don't know if you guys are paying attention, but not all of the artists that are singing about scamming and chop line or, and chop music, trap music, not all of those artists are involved in illicit activities or have any interest to do so. Many of them are just singing trap line music, scamming music because they think that is the trend right now. They think that is the gateway to getting played in the dance hall or, you know what I mean, getting played on the media because... That is what is being pushed to the people. So they think I will have to compromise my values to make that type of me. I've seen where people like Deep Joy, you know what I mean? Deep Joy life goes on. Na, 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 na. Is no doing chop line music. <laughs> Deep Joy is not a chopper. I've seen where people like Tactical is no doing chop line music. Tactical is not a chopper. But these artists who are good young talents, they feel pressured to heed to what they think is being promoted by the media and by the DJs. You know what I mean? So they think that, well, we will have to do this if we want to fit in because we are not ready to kiss our careers goodbye. We're not going to bow out like an assassin. You know what I mean? Like an Idonia who appears to be like bowing out and really releases music. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do what it takes to keep up with the trend. You know what I mean? So boom, boom, and I just listen. Play some good music, man. I'm out.